As the former communications uh, director of COPE, JJ Damane is a little hard to dismiss on this issue, is he not? I dismiss him because he counts for nothing on this issue. Um, you know, you know, Bongani, I was finance minister when COPE was formed in December 2008. When the finance minister of the country, who also happens to be a national executive committee of the ANC, is involved in a very public event to launch a rival party, surely some, some journalist would have picked it up. Surely there's a track somewhere in some newsroom somewhere. He will not find it because I wasn't there. We must not allow Mkhopotse Tabane to make up things when he's sitting with his friends on something called Hustler's Corner and just pronounce and then refuse to recognize that he may have made an error. We mustn't allow hubris to dictate what happens in the lives of people. I won't allow it to happen from Mkupoto, Tabani or anybody else. It's as basic as that. Were you not part of any discussions, however informal? Nothing. Nada. In fact, Despite the fact that I've known Muleki George, Mshiwa Lakota, and Bazima Shalowa for, for decades, I didn't even have a glass of water with them over that period. I was not involved in any discussion. So for JJ to claim that I was must be a complete fabrication. There's no, no, no other way of describing this. And for somebody who describes his tool of trade is truth to power, I'm afraid. Truth is the absent uh, dimension coming from JJ on this matter. Look, I mean, you understand from uh, the layperson's point of view, I mean, as close comrades of the former president, many of the founders of COPE did so, in fact, in protest uh, at his treatment by the ANC. So surely it's not unreasonable conjecture that they may have sought his advice or that of his close comrades like yourself. Um, let me advise you against following rumor and conjecture on this matter. You've got to trust me. You've got to trust me. I was a finance minister. <laughs> a number of people who were in cabinet with me resigned alongside Tabo Mbeki. I resigned and went straight back. I was not part of any grouping in cabinet. I was reappointed by President Khalima Motlantre um, on the 26th of September 2008. I was there in cabinet when COPE was being established. Uh, what else do you want? Do you want cabinet records? Do you want my word? Do you want the fact that I happened to be married to Maria a few days after COPE was formed and probably otherwise engaged when COPE was being formed? Do you want, what do you want as evidence? Because, you know, JJ can't just make up things. He can't make up things in the yeah. lives of other people when he's sitting with his friends. It's as basic as that. And we must not allow the media to be abused by people who happen to have a PhD in media studies. It should not be abused. It's much too serious. I mean, I look at the... The, 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 the murder of this uh, journalist in, in the West Bank yesterday, Sharia. Yeah. And I think the media plays a fundamentally important role and we must not allow it to be abused by people, including people like uh, J.J. Tabani. You consider this defamatory, do you? Completely. To say that whilst I was in cabinet, I was also involved in another party, is, is to lower my integrity. It, it, remo it strips me of my integrity. I've got nothing against the people who formed COPE, but to suggest that I was duplicitous in these arrangements is to strip me of my integrity. And that's what JJ must understand. Integrity matters. We invited him to come on, and he said he'll await your legal papers first. I mean, essentially what he's saying there is bring it on. Well, that's what he's saying, bring it on. You know, JJ might be of the means where he can donate lots of money to lawyers. It's a very, very expensive exercise to mitigate from learning. Very expensive. Uh, I, I'd like to avoid it, and that is why I suggested to him, just admit error, and then we move on in life. And he's kind of taking this view, bring it on, and I can guarantee you what he's going to do is to donate money to lawyers. That's all that he's going to do in the situation. Perhaps he carries big insurance, uh, liability insurance as a media person. I don't know what he does, but I can see where this is going. Current events. Developing stories. Tough questions. Your voice making a difference. This is Breakfast with Bongani Bingwa.